Hello friends, welcome back to LearnNet Guide Tutorials. In this session, I am going to show you how to install Docker on Linux and about Docker CLI. This installation is pretty straightforward. End of this session, you will be able to understand how to install Docker on Linux and how to get a help and how to use Docker commands for the operations. In terms of installation, there are two ways to install Docker. One is using M repository and the second one is download the docker packages and install it manually so steps involved in this session are enable m repository to install docker online or also you can download docker manually from docker.com then we'll see docker installation then we'll see how to start and enable the docker service next to that we'll verify the docker informations and next to that we'll see the docker cli and its usages so watch the video till the end this is in another video from our docker and devops tutorial series related documents and video links are mentioned in the description below please go through those links to understand this session much better from basics let's get started This is my lab server where I have installed CentOS 7.1 on which I am going to show you this demo. Internet connection is enabled already because we are going to use M repository to install Docker. Also, I will show you how to download Docker manually from other system. Step 1. Enable M repository. By default, Docker packages are available in Xtras repository itself. So we just need to enable this Xtras repository. If it is not enabled, go to etcm.repos.d. and check for the file centros-base.repo and here you could see there is a section for extras repository just do enable this and exit from here if you are using rel7 then use subscription manager I cannot execute this command. This is a CentOS. If you are having a rel, then you can enable it is mentioned in my document. Just go through that link. Once you have enabled the required repository, just go ahead to install the Docker using M command. So docker is installed assume that you don't have an internet connection right now so go to the system wherever you have internet so enter in the google.com as download docker.com and you will get the download docker.com official website just get into that and you can see the different operating system i just go with linux and here you have a different distributions centos debian fedora so I am going to use CentOS and here you have a dot repo file you can download this and you can add it in your m.repos.d and you can use that as well but already we have that package is available in the CentOS itself in extras repository so we have used that so I just go with Savon to download the RPM packages and here you have x8664 here you have the stable version and go to these packages so you will have these many versions along with slinux packages because it's a dependency of docker rpm so you must download docker main package as well as the docker slinux package 
So copy these two files to your server and install docker slinux package first and install main docker package using rpm command. So I have used yum to install docker. So I skip this offline installation. Let's start and enable the docker service. Use the systemctla command to enable docker. Also start the service. Docker hyphen V is a command to know the Docker package version with build release information. So this is your Docker version. It's 1.13.1 .1, and this is your build. If you want more information, then you can just give in place of hyphen V version. So this will give you two version details. One of that is Docker client and Docker server. So the version is 1.13.1. .1, and the package version and docker is written in go language so that version they have mentioned and the os architecture and the build date perfect docker is installed let's see how to use docker commands and how to get a help on that so docker is a command you will be using to manage your docker components just type docker and hit enter here you could see so do you have these many options arguments management commands and along with that you have all these optional commands to manage your container you can use container for managing the images image to manage the network to manage the nodes manage the plugins secret service stack swam system volume so you can do these many operations along with that if you give docker attach the container id that will attach to your running container and build this will help you to build an image from the docker image here you have the options along with that clear descriptions the copy will give help you to copy files and folders between the container and the local file systems and commit will help you to create a new image from the containers and create will help you to create the new container but this will not run the container if you want to run the container here you will be having the run command so this will help you to run the container along with create if you use create that will create the container but that will not run but if you do run command that will create the container as well as it will run so login will help you to log into the docker registry and logout will help you to log out from the docker registry and you have import and export export the container file system as a talk archive this kind of a backup of your containers and you can have the history informations and you can check the difference of containers and you can check the events and you can execute the commands and you can pull the images and you can push the images you can rename the container you can restart the container you can stop pass restart and you can check the status of the containers that is a process status and docker informations docker search this will help you to find the docker image from the docker hub start the container status of that stop the container tag the image and top to understand the running process of a container unpass update version and wait and remove this will remove the container if you give rmi this will remove the images so these are the options available with docker command let me show you docker info so docker info this will give you the complete system information about your docker host how many containers you have how many are running how many are passed how many are stopped how many images you have locally and server versions and the storage driver it has been used these are storage related things and you have not configured the swam cluster so it is inactive if you have configured swam it will be showing that active and number of CPUs, total number of memories, number of docker hooks, architecture, voice type, operating system. So here you would get the complete system information about your docker host. Again, there is a one more package called bash completion. I have installed that. So this is a package which has the auto completion features available for bash. So it will give you what are the options can be used along with the docker command but it's optional 
if you hit tab twice followed by docker command you will get all the options available for docker followed by this docker command if not you have to use docker and hit enter that will give you all the help in short i have installed the bash completion so i can use docker followed by that i can just hit tab twice it will give you all the options followed by that okay for example if i give commit and hyphen tab you can give these many options followed by this commit if not you have to get docker commit hyphen hyphen help this will give you the actual help but this will give you the suggestion hope you have got an idea how to install docker on linux and docker cli it's a pretty straightforward installation only going forward we will play more with the docker tools like how to download the images from the docker hub and how to create our own customized docker image using docker file and how to run the containers how to do port mapping and how to use the storage volumes and how to configure the spam clustering so keep practice and have fun how did you feel is it helpful appreciate our efforts in the comment section below hit like button share with your friends about us subscribe our channel to get further updates stay connected with us on social networking sites for more free tutorials visit our website www.lanetiguide.net